Hi again, this is Michelle Gario from the Seekonk Library, back with another book review. And this time it is neither new nor fiction. This is actually an older nonfiction title that I found while browsing the shelves just to see what was out there. And I'm so glad that I did. This time I came across the title, The Astronaut Wives Club by Lily Koppel. And this is uh, a book that was published around 2013. And I found it on the shelf and I said, you know, I feel like I've heard of other titles with astronauts and astronaut wives. So is this the one? And this was really an amazing story. It really is the story that is a true life story of the wives of the very first astronauts that we had in the U.S. So it is the story of the wives from the astronauts astronaut program which began in 1959 with the Mercury 7 by the new 9 then the 14 and then the 19 until the very abrupt ending of the Apollo program that happened in December of 1972 and it's the story of the uh, wives and the families that were behind the astronauts who were really superstars uh, for the country at that time and as they raced against the Russian cosmonauts of course in the great race for space so I really enjoyed this story because it's telling us the other side that we may not have heard, um, especially if we weren't around in that era. What happened is the families of these, especially Mercury 7 uh, astronauts, really were propelled from really obscure, um, very humbly paid military families into the national limelight as the very first astronauts. And so they were suddenly uh, moved into big houses, given huge insurance policies, given a huge increase in their salaries, even to the point where they had their very own life magazine reporters who would essentially live with the families and record the stories uh, as each one of the astronauts went up into space. So um, just really an amazing um, time, not only um, because they were astronauts, but because it was the 1950s heading into the 1970s. And so you see that these uh, astronaut wives who were portrayed uh, very um, much uh, with a specific image of being the perfect American housewife really were so much more than that. They were not just sort of these paper cut um, cutouts of women and wives and what we should be, but they were every sort of range of background and personality from the Ivy League deputants to the uh, the rebels and the hippies among them and you see their relationships not only in their families but with each other and uh, some really interesting things happening there so you see them go through the very 1950s where they're all projecting this image as the perfect American housewife sort of Stepford wives all the way into the 70s which is a very different time for women with the women's live movement and you see one uh, wife in particular who goes off and becomes Becomes a very inspiring and sort of groundbreaking uh, journalist in the women's lib movement and some of you may already know who that is I love 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 this book I loved it so much I just borrowed the TV series and I'm looking forward to watching that and if you see me in the library ask me about it hopefully you'll give it a chance to the astronaut wives club thanks for watching happy reading